Hello students, this is Dr. Ranjini, Assistant Professor in Biotechnology. Welcome to e-learning sessions in Genetics. Today, in this session, we learn about incomplete dominance. In monohybrid cross, when uh, homozygous dominant parent was crossed with homozygous recessive parent differing in single contrasting character. Single contrasting character. In F1 generation, all the offsprings will be having the dominant phenotype. Will be having the dominant phenotype. So, that is monohybrid cross. So, here complete dominance Occur. So, that is why the law of dominance was proposed by the Gregor Mendel. But there are certain uh, conditions or the phenomena where they deviate from this uh, law of dominance. And in case of monohybrid cross, when F1 plants were crossed with or self another F1 plant in F2 generation, in F2 generation we get the phenotypic ratio of 3 is to 1. We get the phenotypic ratio of 3 is to 1. But in certain condition the monohybrid F2 ratio will deviate from the 3 is to 1 ratio. 3 is to 1 ratio. So, one such example is incomplete dominance. One such example is incomplete dominance. In case of 4 o'clock plant that is Mirabilis jalapa, 4 o'clock plant Mirabilis jalapa, when red flower bearing plants were crossed with white flower bearing plants, when red flower bearing plants were crossed with white flower bearing plants, all the F1 plants were bearing pink flowers. Pink flower bearing plants were obtained in F1 generation. So, they were not matching with the parental combination dominant character that is red color. Instead, they were having the flower color was pink. Flower color was pink. But according to our Mendel's law, F1 will resemble the dominant parent. So, F1 should have the red flower bearing plant. But here F1 plants are showing pink flower. F1 plants are showing pink flower. So, this is the deviation from the monohybrid cross that is the Mendel's law. So, it is not following the law of dominance. So, this is called incomplete dominance. What is incomplete dominance? When the homozygous dominant male parent was crossed with the recessive female parent differing in the single contrasting character, differing in single contrasting character, the F1 plants are different from that of the, the parental dominant parent. So, this is called incomplete dominance. Here, the dominant character capital R or the red color is controlled by the factor capital R. And the white flower color is controlled by small r. So, r is dominant over the small r. Capital R is dominant over the small r. But in Mirabilis jalapa, it is giving the pink flower when there is heterozygous dominant condition is there. When there is heterozygous dominant condition is there. According to law of dominance, the dominant factor or the allele completely mask the phenotype of the recessive allele. That is why it will give the red color in case of the, the monohybrid cross. That is why it will give the tall plants in the monohybrid cross when the Mendel cross the tall plant with the dwarf plant. But in case of the Mirabilis jalapa, when the red flower bearing plants were crossed with the white flower bearing plant, the all the F1 progeny were pink. Here, the dominant allele capital R fails to completely mask the effect of the small R, that is the recessive allele. 
that's why it is showing the color pink that is different from the parental red color and the parental white flower bearing plant so this is called incomplete dominance we'll see how the inheritance of the character takes place when red i think you have seen this flower this is mirabilis jalapa we will have the different array of colors in the uh, mirabilis jalapa and the plant is also called as four o'clock plant otherwise sanjay malli usually during four to six o'clock it will bloom and it will be having the very colorful attract uh, attracting flowers the parents when red flower bearing plant was crossed with white flower bearing plant so the red color is controlled by r capital r and it is homozygous dominant parent so it is capital r r when it is crossed with the the white flower bearing plant that is the controlled by capital w w or small r r in some textbook it is referred as small r r when these two plants were crossed we get pink flower bearing plant we get pink flower bearing plant so this pink flower is having the color it is in between the red and the the white in between the red and the white so this incomplete dominance is due to inability of the dominant allele to mask the effect of the recessive or the the white flower bearing uh, character due to which we'll end up with the pink flower when this f1 plants were crossed when f1 plants were selled you get the uh, gametes so male gametes are represented here and female gametes are represented here so this f1 plant will give you 50% will carry capital r the 50% will carry capital w or small r and now when the fusion of the gametes takes place you will find one red plant which is having the phenotype similar to the the parent and one white flower bearing plant that is also similar to the parental phenotype but two are intermediate to red and white this is having pink flower this is having pink flower so this pink uh, phenotype is the result of the incomplete dominance or inability of the capital r gene to mask the effect of the recessive allele or the mask the effect of the white flower bearing allele so due to which we will have the f2 generation genotypic ratio 1 is to 2 is to 1 will be having 1 is to 2 is to 1 otherwise in mono hybrid cross having the the single contrasting character difference between the homozygous parents we will have the genotypic uh, ratio of 3 is to 1 but this ratio is deviating in case of the mirabilis jalapa in flower color we get 1 is to 2 is to 1 so this is the mechanism of incomplete dominance i hope you understood the process of incomplete dominance thank you